gang, let me show you guys this because uh, it's important to lay down a foundation on this for a second. Let me turn this guy down a little bit. Okay, check this out, gang. Israel and Palestine. There's a lot going on here. We talked about the gas fields from Iran, the pipelines, the deals that people were trying to make from Saudi Arabia, Syria to Israel to feed Europe with energy. Syria said, no, I'm going to go with Iran, Iraq to Syria pipeline, going through Turkey to buy pipeline to feed Europe. One of the reasons why the war in Syria kicked into high gear, right? Parse gas field, right? We had the gas field coming up or energy going through Niger, right? We put the pipelines on last, going through this way to feed Europe with energy since Europe has totally cut itself off from the most resource rich country in the world, right? Now, check this out. Talking about these resources, these pipelines we've been talking about, I thought it was important to take a look at, zoom into this area and talk about the following two things, right? So let me bring up this map. Where are you uh, Douglas McGregor, yeah, 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 for sure. Mr. Uh, Carmen, uh, Carmine, man. Douglas McGregor and John uh, uh, Mearsheimer. Yeah, I've watched both of them. I've watched Douglas McGregor a lot more. Snacks, Bruno, I got apples and walnuts. Good apples and walnuts on sensor two. Right. Since I'm talking really fast right now, I can't eat those. Okay, check the sound, gang. I'm going to show you a couple of um, things. Okay, yummy. Randall says, off the coast of Palestine, Israel, Gaza, there's something called the Levant Basin. Check that out. Right. So. What you're seeing right now, this map here is here, right? Doop, right there, right? We got Israel, we got apologies about the stickers we have on here because <laughs> we've talked about these before, but you should know this map by now, right? So that's the basin right there. And you see the gray shaded areas there, right? That's gas fields there, Leviathan gas fields right and other gas fields and these are sort of huge energy deposits that Israel is saying is ours well if you go by international law right because countries have a certain uh, distance they can go off their coast so if there's any resources off that coast that belongs to the country that's off its coast right but those gas fields huge chunk of those are really belong really belong to the palestinians because they're off the coast of gaza right that's one of the reasons that israel is trying to cleanse the region of palestinians to exterminate them so there's no dispute of who these uh these gas fields belong to right there's also dispute between Israel and Lebanon because there's energy resources available there too. And Israel saying, mine. So mine, 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 everything mine. Mine, 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 right? So Israel saying, Gaza mine. Energy off the coast of Gaza mine. Energy off the coast of Lebanon, mine. Southern Lebanon, mine. Golan Heights, mine. West Bank, mine. Greater Israel, mine. Okay. Keep this in mind. There's energy sources that we're talking about here. Extremely important. And supposedly the energy, it will make Israel energy independent. And supposedly there's enough resources there to supply Israel with energy. All its needs for next 50 to 100 years and enough to sell to Europe to get a lot of money right so keep that in mind now hi uh, Eric the uh, uh, eclectic first time chat on Twitch hi how is Egypt involved in the uh, basin watch this good timing uh, on since on uh, Twitch check this out 
uh, whoop, where are we now that's one of the things energy off the coast of Israel and Palestine that this is involved with I'm gonna take these guys down doink doink now there's another thing that's going on here you see this the Red Sea right we got the Suez Canal going up here right one of the oh, I should have brought up the map of traffic right naval ocean container traffic going through the Suez Canal I believe I believe third of the traffic maybe 20% I can't remember the numbers now right 20% 33% 15% doesn't matter really huge chunk of the traffic from Asia goes through the Red Sea goes through the Suez Canal to go into Europe and here and other parts of the world right if this Suez Canal was not there if Israel uh, if Egypt and Egypt controls that by the way if Egypt closed that off then the ships from Asia would have to go all the way around here oh ho, 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 ho. just imagine the inflation that's gonna hit here just imagine the shortages how long it will take for these products to go there right so there's only one canal here that goes through here that's the same equivalent as the Panama Canal here right so Panama Canal there's only canal there's only one canal that takes ships from here to this side right that's huge as well right if you played axis and allies you'll know that this canal is extremely important because if ships can't travel through here then they have to go all the way around right that's why china is has plans to build a canal which is parallel to a certain degree i believe in nicaragua and i believe they've already started construction on it to provide another canal for ships to go through other than just the panama canal right so they want two lanes the panama canal is controlled by the united states remember in 1999 panama canal was supposed to be handed over to the panamanian people right but the invasion of panama occurred there under george bush senior i believe it was george bush senior they went after noriega right noriega bad sends drugs to the united states bad right meanwhile they don't tell you noriega was a total cia plant cia puppet just like saddam hussein was right so united states invaded panama to make sure that they would never lose control of the panama canal right that was extremely important right so the war in panama the invasion of panama the united states and it was big deal back then right people were like we're oh, united states we won right <laughs> you can't you, you, you won't believe the the if you knew what the hell was going on and i was much younger back then right in late 90s but in early 90s and but late 80s early 90s but i knew my geopolitics not as well as i do now but i knew what was going on back then right and you watch people cnn tv everything showing this right the united states goes in there and they win the war against the panamanian people and they massacred some people there right you didn't really hear too much about it okay and they got complete control of the panama canal so the united states controls the panama canal and an incredibly important sea route that connects this part to this part china is building another canal this way so they don't have to use the panama canal if the shit is the fan between china and the united states when they go to war that way they'll control that canal all right monroe doctrine sort of comes into play here uh, is it monroe doctrine the one that says the united states stated that no other country should have influence over latin america because it's their backyard right now same thing plays out here in the red sea suez canal egypt controls it okay egypt it's the second or used to be right before the whole ukraine insanity it used to be the country that got the second highest uh, aid military specifically from the United States right because Suez Canal extremely important right they had the uh, um, Muslim Brotherhood took over they went a little fanatic because they were fanatic and uh, they realized that the they would lose control over the Suez Canal so military coup Egypt stabilized for the world to a certain degree right but Egypt still controls it well the United States and Israel have been planning to build another parallel canal 
going through here called the Ben Gurion Canal, right? Let me show it to you. See that? So you see the Red Sea, the Suez Canal marked off here, and right beside it going off this way is the Ben Gurion Canal. And Ben Gurion was, I believe, the first leader of Israel after it was established, or one of the first, right? And see the way the canal is supposed to be built, a little twister and stuff like this. Let me do a little close up of this. Uh, boop. Oh, that's the map view of it, right? So that's what we're talking about. You see the line up top there. You can see the Suez Canal and they want to build a canal going through this arm of the Red Sea going up, coming out through Israel, coming out through Israel, but really Gaza right because if you look at another i'm going to overlay color map on this i'm going to take these guys down so keep these images in mind right i like the satellite image because it makes it more real it's not cartoonish right people live there right people live there right check this out thank you very much for the love game uh in the comments in the chat apologies if i'm not reading it. i just need to get this sh shown right so here's the map satellite color map i chose the color one because it's prettier right see the blue line there that's the canal that they want to build that parallels the Suez Canal so ships can go through here and if something happens there's turmoil in the world right the world goes multipolar bipolar or multipolar then Egypt cannot deny entry of certain types certain ships from certain countries and there is treaties involved that egypt is supposed to be neutral and it cannot cannot deny the entry the transport of uh, of this corridor for any ship from any country no matter if they're in conflict with them or not right because if that was the case then the ship would have already hit the fat but things are getting hot between the united states and china and russia and other players and they need another route going through right they need to be able to the west needs to be able to control one and one of the reasons israel and the united states with the united states i mean just imagine how many fucking ships they've planted here 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 right to make sure israel can commit genocide on the concentration camp why does the United States need so much military power for that? I mean, are they're afraid that Lebanon, Hezbollah might get involved here, right? But that much power for Hezbollah? Hmm. I think it has to do more with other players getting involved. Thank you, uh, Jazzut on Rumble for um the rumble chats five dollar donation Woo! uh chicho you said a long time ago that economics trumps politics couldn't agree more looks like this is a war for energy thanks again this lesson these lessons are crucial critical uh thought too yeah e extremely important remember gang as general smitley butler said all wars are bankers wars they're a racket right and add to that, all wars are resource wars, in essence, right? They're resource wars. And this is about resources. This is about controlling resources. This is about controlling the flow of resources, right? So this is one of the reasons that they need Israel and the United States and the Western world want to ethnically cleanse the region, Gaza of Palestinians, because Israel wants to move in and say, mine right okay now if you don't understand how serious this is right how serious this is some people are actually defending israel's demands that 2.2 million people be pushed out of their land to go live in tents in the desert because 
2.3% of the people that lived there decided to take up arms against their oppressors, against their the people that are horrendous, right? Killing innocent people, not good, but wow, right? Ethnically cleansing a region of 2.2 million people is genocide. No matter how you sugarcoat it, it's genocide. Okay. I just needed to show these maps and make sure at least these two pieces of puzzle were in place in this region as well. In addition to everything else we've talked about in the previous eight math mapping global con conflict map streams that we've done eight times minimum two to three hours we're doing them right so we've already talked about all the stuff for the last 16 20 22 hours this is more information okay this is more information True. important i'm going to try to get caught up with the chat gang apologies i missed a whole bunch of stuff i just needed to get that 